I am looking for a way to be more efficient with creating YouTube videos. Not really so much because I'm super busy, but <sighs> YouTube shorts have taken over my life. So I have to make my videos in less time. And instead of working really hard or something, I'm gonna find some other way. After a little bit of research and a four hour session of watching shorts, I think I found the solution to at least some of my problems. But wait, you don't even know what my problems are. Yes, you do. I mean, when you create a video, do you just pull out your camera and press record? No. First, you have to brainstorm a video idea based on what you think will perform well and what your audience wants to see, and that all takes time, and that's a problem. Then you've got to script your video, which takes time, and that's a problem. Then you set up everything to record the video, which takes time, problem. Edit and thumbnail design, time, problem. Upload the video with SEO optimization, time, problem. But there's one more factor. One huge time problem, administration. You know that to have a really successful YouTube channel, you need to spend time looking at analytics and trends and researching topics and replying to comments. I love to reply to comments, but usually I find myself looking at graphs and wondering what all of this even means. Bottom line, if I wanna get some time back to do the things that I like, I need help. TubeBuddy is an extension that seems like it might help me mitigate some of these problems, but what I'm really hoping for is that it won't only help me speed up my work process, but also help me do a better job. Is that too much to ask? I guess we'll see. It has been one week since I started using TubeBuddy and I'm really excited to share what I found. First off, TubeBuddy has a totally free version that gives you a lot of helpful tools. I currently have the legend here so we can decide together whether this is something that's worth paying for or not, but the free version, there's basically no reason not to get. I worked with the limits of the free version for a while and spoiler, it still saved me a lot of time. I've got a link in the description if for some reason you don't have it yet. TubeBuddy has a lot of different features so it'd be super duper boring for me to go through every single one and tell you about it. So instead, I'm going to just share the ones that I think you'll like the most and the ones that I use the most. No software is perfect though and over the past week, I did find some things that I had a gripe with or didn't really like about it. I'll let you know about those as well. The first thing TubeBuddy does really well is simplify your analytics. If you're a new YouTuber or you just haven't spent a whole lot of time in YouTube studio, all of those charts and graphs that get shoved in your face can be really, really confusing. Even though I'm by no means new to YouTube, I still spent hours and hours in YouTube studio every week because sometimes you've got to dig for a lot of the information that you need. TubeBuddy simplified this in a couple of different ways. First, you can access a channel health report from their website. This will give you a general overview of your stats for the last 30 days where you can study changes in engagement, audience, and traffic sources, letting you know what topics are trending up or down for your channel. The health report is a great quick look for your entire channel, but the website also has a retention analyzer which studies the last 50 videos that you uploaded and gives you a really nice simple to understand list to see what your top performers are. It might seem like I'm speaking a different language at this point, sorry. Uh, let me explain why viewer retention is important. YouTube wants a viewer to watch your video all the way to the end because that's how they know that you're enjoying the video and that viewers enjoying your videos and you're putting out valuable content. The higher and more stable your view retention number is, the more likely YouTube is going to recognize that you're making great content. So they're gonna recommend that content to more people. With this retention analyzer tool, it's really easy to see which of your previous videos keep people watching to the most important timestamps, being the first 30 seconds and all the way to the end of the video. There's some steps in between there, but the 30 seconds and all the way to the end are the most important ones. Videos that keep the most percentage of people watching through the first 30 seconds have strong openers, so you wanna replicate these openers in your future videos. Videos that keep viewers watching all the way to the end are the ones that satisfy viewers the most and don't overstay their welcome. Knowing these retention numbers is really important to me when I'm in the production process for my new videos because I want to replicate that good opener and I want to replicate the success of the long-term videos that keep people watching till the end. So having all those stats all in one place is super nice, it saves a big headache because in YouTube studio you have to go through and look at every single video and that's just that's a pain in the butt. Now, retention isn't the only thing to study in your analytics. You've also got to look at things like click-through rate, watch time, and even thumbnail design. This will help you determine which titles, thumbnails, and topics resonate most with your audience and what you should be producing. This is where my favorite TubeBuddy tool comes into play. It's called Click Magnet, and it simplifies all of that stuff and even gives you stats that YouTube Studio doesn't provide. Inside of Click Magnet, the power rankings show your best performing videos and what about them makes them perform well. Taking a look at these rankings will inform 
inform you as to what your next video should be about because it's obviously best to keep making videos that are the same topic as your best performing videos. Next, Click Magnet has an element inspector that analyzes the titles and thumbnails of your past videos and shows how videos with certain features perform against videos without those features. Like whether you have a face in your thumbnail or text or which emotion on that face is most effective at driving clicks. It will also detect and rank words that your most popular video titles have in common. For example, I have five videos that have the word I in them, and those titles average a little over a 7% click-through rate. So guess what? I use that type of title for this video because I know that the stats say that is the most effective way to title my videos. Finally, Click Magnet will detect opportunities for you to improve videos that you already posted. This is really cool. By taking a look at performance and click-through rate, TubeBuddy ranks videos that are most likely to benefit from a thumbnail or title change. Then you can just experiment with it yourself, or you can run an A-B test where TubeBuddy will automatically change out alternative titles and thumbnails that you upload, then report back which combination got the best results. I think this feature is really dang powerful, and I've been in the process of going through and changing things up with their top ranked videos that have the most potential for growth and seeing if it actually makes a difference. Okay, now we can take a step back from analytics and dive more into video posting and SEO optimization. The upload process can be really tedious for me, and I think the last thing I ever want to do at the end of a long day of editing is optimize my title, description, or tags for SEO. Thankfully, over the past week, I have found that TubeBuddy makes this so much easier. Right off the bat, they have a best practices sort of checklist sheet on the side. When you're setting a video to post, it automatically checks that your upload is optimized and reminds you if there are some things that you forgot to do, like add chapters to the video. Now you can always add chapters to your description manually, but TubeBuddy designed a chapter editor that streamlines the whole process and saves just a little bit more time. What truly has saved me a ton of time in the upload process though is TubeBuddy's tag tool. Mine and probably your least favorite thing to do in the entire world is add tags to videos because it just takes so much time, right? And it, I mean, YouTube themselves have said that it does very, very little to actually help your video rank. At the same time, it can't hurt. So I always try to fill out my video tags even though it's a pain in the butt. TubeBuddy makes this a million times easier because it automatically recommends tons of tags and it ranks them according to how effective they might be at driving viewers to your videos by taking into account internet search volume and competition for the topic. Lastly, the TubeBuddy extension adds something called Videolytics next to any video that you watch on YouTube. You can look at how well SEO optimized it is and even see the tags that were added to the video. It sort of pulls back the curtain. Those are my favorite TubeBuddy features, but I do have a couple of gripes or things that I think could be a little bit better. For one, the website is pretty ugly, honestly. I get that the on YouTube extension is sort of the meat and bones of TubeBuddy, but personally, I'd like to see a much more streamlined and easy to use website because the current one is just, it's just not very optimized. I don't, I don't like it. I just kind of find it difficult to navigate. Next, I'd like to see some features geared more toward video idea generation. As it stands right now, the extension helps tremendously to save time in studying analytics and SEO optimization, but I would really like to see something that adds to the creative side. It doesn't really help with anything like idea generation or script writing. There are certainly other tools that do help with this, especially by harnessing the power of AI, but I would like to see that integrated into TubeBuddy. I think that would be really cool. In the end, I think TubeBuddy is a massive help to YouTubers because it helps simplify and streamline and speed up the most tedious and annoying parts of running a YouTube channel. So if you don't have the free version, I can't recommend it enough. You can always upgrade to the Legend or Pro subscriptions that'll give you access to things like Click Magnet, which are some of the best features, I think. And all things considered, the price is really reasonable because I've saved hours and hours of time, even just over this past week using TubeBuddy, and anything that helps me do my job more efficiently, and even in this case, more effectively, that's something that I'm gonna recommend hands down any day.